Hello, Journal. We went to see Gran today. In the hospital. It looked like... a big grey fortress. It took us a while to find the right room. Dad let me open the door. Gran has a big, cosy bed at home. Nothing like the hospital one she was in. Lying in there, she looked so small. I don't remember her being that small. Gran's eyes were open, but she struggled to... find the right words. She just couldn't... speak properly. The doctor said it was called... dysphasia. It was caused by the stroke. She's usually so talkative, but now she kept stopping. Mid-sentence, as if all the words she could find were just out of reach. I could see it really frustrating her. And then Gran started coughing. They put an oxygen mask on her. I told her she looked like Darth Gran. She smiled at that. That reminds me of Gran telling me how she took Mum to the cinema. A long, long time ago, when Mum was my age. A grand story! Gran and Mum went to see my favourite movie. Mum fell asleep. But Gran fell in love with it. When I was little, Gran would show it to me. On a battered video cassette, Gran would laugh at the robots and guess a funny smile. Whenever the scruffy-looking smuggler showed up, we'd watch it until we could quote all the best lines. We laughed a lot. Once she gets out, we're going to watch them all over again. And when the next movie arrives, Gran and I are going to go to the cinema. Together. And soon, Gran and I will be playing games again. I can't wait! This time, I'll be all her high scores. For sure. Gran's a tough cookie. In video games and everywhere else. I heard Mum crying in her room.
I've never seen her cry before. She looked so sad. I didn't know what to do. So I made her a cup of tea. Just like grands, she said. Mum said Gran was getting tired. I said she's getting better. Mum said she felt helpless. I said she was just sleepy. Mum said Gran's going to... I said she's going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. All you need is a leap of faith. Will Gran still be Gran after this? Of course. She'll be fine. Fine! Gran is going to get better, right? I made her smile. That should help. Got to keep positive. Mum needs me to. I'll show Gran my story. Mum as well. They'll enjoy reading it. I hope it helps. What else can I do? I just need to finish my story. So, where were we? After the dragon attacked the village, Grace set out to find the fireflies, leaving Elder Ava and her village behind. Her journey took her to a vast desert with a guardian who guards it because it is his home Grace had pursued the dragon far, far from home The desert spread out before her. Dunes rising and falling like a sea of gold. Timeless and bewildering. A glow in the sand. I'll get you safely home, my little friend. Another firefly escaped from the dragon's grasp. Hey there, little one. You're safe now. Where did this wind suddenly come from? There was something very unnatural about it. won't stop me. Can't close mouth. Hold on, fireflies. Hold on. Someone's down 
that. Ah. I'm sorry for disturbing you. Who are you to come in here making all that noise? My desert was peaceful, tranquil. But I came here following a dragon. Have you seen it? It's really important. Go away! May your and stay out! But Grace's will would not break that easily. Hey! Come back here! I really need your help. I said go! Okay. See ya. Whoa! <laughs> that sorted Mr. Grumpy Pants out. The yawning cave burrowed deep into the earth. Home to wondrous life. Easily scared. Grace felt like an explorer. Uncovering the unknown, far below the rolling dunes. I wonder what used to be down here. Maybe sand swimming desert pirates or one eyed troglodytes. I hope not. Interesting. Deep under the desert sands, Grace found... A long, forgotten chamber. The plant recoiled at the sound of her footsteps.
broken remains of greatness past. The silence of the ages filled the air. Foul-tempered voice drifted down to grace. Where is it? Where in past? They didn't wait for an invite. Rude. It's just rude. the gin. His fury was great. Fortunately, his voice was very, very small. <laughs> but the Desert Guardian would not let it rest. <laughs> hey! Stop it! Find the dragon. Don't you get that? I really don't have time for this. That's it. So long. Sulky boots again. Now, what's all this? As she looked around this lonely, desolate place, Grace wondered why would anyone choose to live here? There had been people here. Once upon a time, what happened to them? Who were they? Maybe I'll find answers here. The dome was empty but for a pool of water. An inviting place to rest. Grace's thoughts drifted to the people that once had lived here. She was sure they must have been... Warriors.
A distant roar roused Grace from her thoughts. I'll catch you yet, dragon. The ancient statues toppled before Grace. Warriors. Protectors of their land. Fall before me. But behind Grace, a grumpy mumbling could be heard. <laughs> oh, him again. Let's move. Guardian was frantically looking for Grace. Stop hiding from me! He would surely find her eventually. Wouldn't he? Easy! Despite the darkness, Grace's hope guided her. Get it right this time. It must leave. It must. They mustn't know. Hmm. Well, now I'm curious.
What is it with this guy? you so worked up, old windbag? The past? The past? It stays hidden. It must. you don't want me to see. I'm sure we can... No, 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 no. You cannot go further. Are you back? How can I get him to listen? Would she break the Jin statue? Or repair it? Listening, but you look calmer now. I, I do not understand. Why show pity to me? I did nothing to aid you. Everyone deserves a second chance, or a tenth. Huh. What's happened here? What did you do? I failed. More than ten times. Let me show you. I was once worshipped here. It was... wonderful. But I grew complacent. Arrogant. They warned me that great dangers were coming. And what did you do? Nothing. I believed that there was no danger I could not thwart. I was wrong. Hey, paid the price. My being here must have brought back painful memories. That is as it should be. To feel something, even pain, after all this time. For that, I thank you. I don't need your thanks, but I do need to know if you've seen a dragon around here. It has come and gone. But... There is something you should know about that beast. What was that? Hold on! For 
more softly, my friend. Knowledge will be yours in time. Use it more wisely than I did. 